about digital now. Michael Kirskwila is an Iraq and Afghanistan war veteran. Three years ago, he could not leave the house alone. He felt uncomfortable and anxious in public places, but that all changed after he got his assistant's dog, Ohai. If my wife wasn't with me, I, I was a mess. I, I couldn't go out into public. I couldn't do things. I couldn't be alone um, because I get overwhelmed. And so now I had Ohai with me. I could go out. I don't have to rely on my wife for everything. I could go out, we get on the metro. Ohai, under, under, all the way, all the way. And now we're in public, we're at a restaurant. He's completely out of the way. Ohai was trained at Canine Companions for Independence, an organization that provides assistance dogs to people with disabilities. Like Ohai, the dogs can pick up dropped items. There you go, such a good boy, give. Tug, keep going. Open and close keep doors, going. and no okay. over 40 advanced we commands. It works so with Labradors things. and Golden Retrievers. We have found that Labrador Retrievers, Golden Retrievers, offer the best in adaptability, being versatile, being big enough to do uh, the commands like turning on a light switch or pulling a wheelchair, but also being small enough to be able to fit um, easily on a plane or train uh, and stay out of the way. They begin training as puppies. Volunteers agree to keep the dogs for 18 months to teach them socialization skills and basic commands. Then the dogs return to the main training center for another six months of training with professional instructors. When that's completed, roughly half of the dogs graduate with marks high enough to be paired with a person who needs its help. Candidates stay on campus for two weeks to work with the training team and the dogs. With those dorms, we're able to um, simulate almost having an in-home experience. So we're able to let the dog off leash and see how they react um, and how they respond and what they're doing in all these different areas. The waiting list for one of these little helpers is long. Finally, it's graduation day. All of this is free for those like Michael Kersquila, who need an assistance dog, but they will never own them. Canine Companions for Independence retains ownership of the dogs throughout their working lives and makes sure they're always cared for. And, you know, we're a team. So what I do, he does. What he does, I do. Um, and, uh, you know, we push each other. We push each other out of our boundaries. A loyal helper, a dedicated friend, a devoted companion, Ohai is much more to the veteran than meets the eye. Anusha Vitisyan in Monrovia, Maryland, VOA News.